Oh, you want an echo? I'll give you an echo. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an echo or reverb using Power Director 14 Ultimate and the Cyberlink Wave Editor. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. All right, Power Director peeps, here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate, and I'm about to show you how to get your echo, 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 right and tight. So I have my clip down in the timeline. Now, you can trim, split, or do whatever to your clip. Just make sure that you are only going to be using the part of the clip that you want to add the echo to. Since I'm going to be adding the echo to this whole clip, I'm just going to left click on the clip to make sure that it's activated. And when you left click on it, you should have an option up here for edit audio. If you click on the drop down arrow for edit audio, then you'll have an option called wave editor. You click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to open the Cyberlink Wave Editor and it will import the audio from that clip. All right. So right now you can tell that I have all the audio selected. If all your audio is not selected, then you're going to use these uh, mark in and mark out points. And you're going to drag them to make sure that they cover the part of the audio that you want to work with. I'm just gonna put it right back to how it was, how it's covering everything, cause that's fine with me. Now, over here on the left-hand side, you'll have an effect section. And in the effect section, you'll find a section called generate. And in the generate section, you'll find an effect called reverb. If you click on reverb, then it opens up the reverb settings. So sparkle increases the pitch, which helps to create uh, an airy and open sound. Uh, room width, that increases the density of the sound. And room size increases the length of the reverberation or the echo. So if you want to hear a preview of the sound, you click on this little box next to preview. And if I play it now, it'll sound like the original audio because I haven't moved any of the settings. I'll give you an echo. I'll give you an echo. And so I'll stop that. And now what I can do is I can move the different parameters where I want to. And I can click on play. And then I can keep moving these because it'll loop the playback. And I can keep moving the different settings until I get the sound that I want. I'll give you an echo. 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 And I'll go ahead and stop that. Once you got it where you want it, you just click on OK. And now if I play it here, you'll hear the effect that I added, which is the echo. I'll give you an echo. So once you're done, you can click on the close button. And then it'll tell you, you have not saved the changes to the current audio track. Do you want to save the changes now? So you click on yes. And it will save those changes and add it right back to Power Director. And now you can see down here that I have a separate video and a separate audio for this before they were together. Well, what it did was it input the audio that I just created right underneath the clip and removed 
the original audio. So if I play this, I'll give you an echo. You get the echo. And that, my friends, is how you do it. All right? Okay, Power Director Peeps, that's a wrap. I want to thank you for watching the video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, make sure you click on the thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. It lets other people know that the content in this video is muy bueno. Also, if you got any questions, tutorial requests, you want to tell us why or how you're going to be using an echo or reverb in your video, leave that stuff down in the comment section below. Last but not least, you got to smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. That way, you don't miss out on any of the learning and all the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.